In short, VirtualBox is a cross-platform virtualization application produced by Oracle Corporation and is known as open source. This means that you can use VirtualBox free for almost any purpose. It can be installed on any existing Intel or AMD based computers, whether if they are running Windows, Mac, Linux or Solaris operating systems. Secondly, it extends the capabilities of the existing computer so that it can run multiple operating systems all at the same time. So for example, you can run Windows and Linux on a Mac, run Windows Server 2008 on a Linux server, run Linux on a Windows PC and so on, all alongside your existing applications. You can install and run it as many virtual machines as you like. The only practical limits are disk space and memory. The main advantage of this is that we can experience different operating systems without the need of installing them on different hardware systems. All the operating systems remain in one single application and the added advantage is that they can interact with each other. This first part of the installation procedure is straightforward. All that is needed is an internet connection as shown here. Use a search engine such as Google and type in VirtualBox. In most cases, the web page we shall be selecting will appear at the top of the listing. On the left of this web page, we can see a download section. Here we have the option to install different versions, such as for Windows, OS X, Linux and Solaris hosts. We shall be dealing with the Microsoft Windows version. You will notice that there are two different versions, x86 and AMD64. Just simply click on this link and the respective one will be installed. You will be prompted to run or save. In our example, we have chosen to run the software package. Once the software has been downloaded, the installation of it is quite simple. Click on Next at the Setup screen. You'll be prompted to create two shortcuts, one on the desktop and the other on the Quick Launch bar. Once again, we have accepted this and clicked on Next. A warning will appear that the network interfaces will be disabled during the setup procedure. Here we have clicked on Yes. This is the last warning before the installation will begin. We can close the internet connection now since it is no longer needed. We can see here the desktop shortcut has been created. At the end of the installation we click on finish and VirtualBox will be automatically launched. The rest of the installation will be completed in the next video lesson.